Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 287. I don't like my last video. I actually, this is hopefully going to be longer than five, five, maybe ten minutes. <clears throat> I hope so, anyways. This will be the newest episode of the anime, of the One Piece anime, and the newest chapter of the manga. Yep, basically, this is discussing episode 1052. And I want to be sure because it's right okay. The situation is going tense. The end of Ukasuma. This episode adapts from the rest of chapter 1027, 7 to 17, and of course, pages 9 and 10 of chapter 1028. We kind of have three, three settings this episode. The first half of the episode focuses on Momo and Yamato, where they discover while they're, and of course, at their, of course, Yamato is teaching Momo how to fly properly as a dragon. They discover that the island is, the Okasuma is falling apart, and of course, Yamato is telling Momo he needs to form new flame clouds. And of course, we want to make sure it doesn't fall, and of course, you see pieces of the thing falling on the ground. And look if it's falling in desolate areas, uh, in, in this area outside the power capital. So, it's not harming people, but he doesn't want to harm people, so... He tries basically push it with his own head. He almost says, that's not a good idea to do. And like, why don't you just tell him, stop, you move yourself. No. Luffy continued battling Kaido. Kaido is briefly seen in the episode battling Luffy. I mean briefly. The whole brief fight sequence you have in the episode is not even like 30 seconds. It's like really brief. So of course, I have the idea of forming new flame clouds. Because Yamato, in a moment, things new. Because Yamato proceeds to smack him in the head with, with, with her with her club, and of course get back basically into his senses. And that's pretty much the first half of the episode. The second half focuses on, well, the pages 9 and 10 actually mix in here, where they have Queen take on Sanji, of course him hitting Sanji, and of course Sanji, despite the fact, feels like, oh, he may have broken his rib, he hurt his leg. No, he's perfectly fine. Just stream somebody, he's perfectly fine. Because it's suspected that the that the suit, the raid suit, alters his body. So they continue fighting for a while. And of course, <laughs> during the fight, basically, something bad happens to Queen Duran. I'll get to that. And of course, Sanji tells him, don't call me Vunsmoke, just call me Sanji. Then, oh, oh, meanwhile, though, King is taking on Zoro. And it's a pretty good battle. Until Zoro chops off one of his spikes. First, uh, first he throws an attack of 1,080 uh, Phoenix Caliber, and 380, and that, and that one chops off one of his spikes, and he gets mad. So he goes to his pterodactyl form, launches Zoro through a wall, and after Zoro gets back, then he proceeds to launch a whole string of slice attacks on uh, every in the area, including hitting Queen's rear end. Also, he, and we have Zoro basically, he's launched right out. He nearly falls off the island, so he loses his own sword to basically bounce himself back up on the island. Which, I got hit, that's actually a really good idea to do. Then, then basically, we also see the episode kind of end with him partially showing his face. Yes, his face. Because King's face has been hidden this whole entire arc. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing how they depict his face in the anime. But damn good episode, I love it. Alright, now move on to new chapter in the manga. Chapter 1075, Lap Post Death Game. The cover story is German Sictics Ah, an emotionless incursion. Volume 31, a, the genius scientist gets an audience with the five elders. AKA the five Id elder the five elder idiots. Yeah, great cover image. Yeah, it's basically Vega Punk meeting with them before he chop Harvest's head off. Jump starts off basically everything basically being a big mess. Everyone what the heck is going on. Luffy gets off the couch he was sitting on since last chapter. And he's asking Shiki the Eve uh Shiki the Goods, like somebody having helmet. I'm gonna hear a voice in my head. Whereas Nami's basically chiming at money. Yep, and broke and it was like, Hey, where about money? You're trying to back away the island? Yeah, okay, hey, let's get ahead. Let's should we go back? Yeah, we're looking for the cellar. Fine, I'll set it down here. Pesbeck, you know, sink diamonds, right? For industrial purposes. You can make diamonds, right? What do you guys make that shape? 
a future of a dream. Stella, where are you? And then we see Punk 5 with Chopper and Robin. Of course, basically, we was wondering what the heck was monitors are down. So somebody's basically taking over the lab. And then we see... <laughs> we see... Uh, Saucy in a, in a Vegapunk suit with Jean Bay in a Hawaiian shirt. It is hilarious to see Jean Bay wear Hawaiian shirt over his kimono he wears. I think it's quite hilarious. And of course, Sanji's like infatuated her because she's hot. <laughs> yeah, and then we see Frankie who's got a turntable on him. And of course, Frankie and Usa come over the Vegapunks. We see Porgus basically he's knocked out. He's got no head. And of course he's perfectly fine. And then we see look like Jury Bonnie just petting the head of the childlike version of Boy Hancock and proceeds to turn her to stone. Yeah. Actually that's York. That's not that was that was Bonnie Clay. Nope, it's not York. And of course, the boy Hancock was there was just attacking them. Like, what makes it sense? I'm Vegapunk. She would listen to orders. Ah, a traitor. Like, what the heck is going on? You can't beat them. They created also former humanity. And of course, then we see that, oh, that the server turned on. They're like, what the heck is going on here? Does that have any orders? V. I mean, Vegapunk is giving orders, huh? They're on radio. Playing for the start. There's someone's here trying to kill all of us. And then we see Kaku and Rob Lucci wake up. Kill us. You you Sarah think we're a big joke? Straw hat or an or what say we put our paws on our scores? And TM for take out these cups, we can help you. You don't seem to like that. And they make these like huh? Type face. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's quite cool. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I love this. This was a really damn good chapter. I get this a 10 out of 10. It is awesome. I love it. It's so freaking good. Yep. And it's something, though. Apparently, the boy Hancock one is tiny like a doll. Like, it's probably... Or it could be because, basically, the one of the, the York... It's probably a giant. That's probably the reason for it. But yeah, really good chapter. And here's the thing. Next time it comes out tomorrow. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so this was kind of short, but hey, it's not five minutes. Yep. Next video is going to be Comic Corner. Excuse me, that's going to be slightly longer, okay? Thanks, Phil. Bye.